So we were out camping last year and all of a sudden we had no hot water or very minimal hot water. It was flowing a little bit, but not too much. And I wasn't sure exactly what it was. So I put the camper away, but I've decided that I was going to fix it. And so this is what I found. So in the back of the water heater on the top, there is a check valve that goes here. And so on my system here, you'll see it has the valve down at the bottom that bypasses. This is the cold water coming in. It'll bypass this. And this, the check valve will keep the water from flowing back into the top of the water heater. The bottom is just, it flows in. So how I was able to diagnose this was <clears throat> when I hooked up the water pressure, now I have the drain on the outside of the water heater removed. And when I had it in the open position where it's going to flow water into the cold, it would, and the drain out, and I would turn the water on, it would flow rather well. When I would switch it to the bypass mode to where it was going to flow up here, I could hear it still flowing back through where the check valve should be stopping the water. Now what was actually happening was the pieces of the check valve were plugging up the bit of the elbow that comes in. There's an elbow that goes here and then there's the check valve and the center part of the check valve was plugging up the elbow and would not let the hot water flow out because it had come apart from the spring um, and, and the clip that holds it in place. So it was actually physically blocking the water that was coming out. So these are available. Um, uh, it will be in tomorrow. Now that top, it was rather tight and I found it best to use my impact, uh, driver, um, that I have. And it actually pulled right out. No issues. So uh, I'm going to put a new valve in and we'll be back into business. All right, so the new valve has arrived and it's time to do the install. Let me show you what I have here. So this is the new valve with the plunger in place like it's supposed to be. Let me hold it so it focuses a little better. See the spring and the clip retaining it. You can see the old one, how it's blown apart. So you want to install the spring side goes towards the water heater so the, the little shoulder there that goes in towards the water heater let's get that installed I'm gonna use a little thread sealer to make sure that it seals up all right so you can see the hot and I have the shoulder side with the spring going into the hot water heater I'm just going to tighten that down. Should be good. We took that rubber seal and I put it back onto the elbow first, and then I'm going to attach it back to the new check valve. With it, it will seal better. Tighten this. All right. So I've turn the water back on and right now I currently have it bypassing the hot water heater but this will I can tell it's already not flowing back in the top like it's supposed to and I'm not getting a drip from either one of those top fittings so that's good I'm going to switch it over now to the hot not bypass and this way it will fill the 
a hot water heater with water and I will be able to guarantee that the top's not leaking. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open up the hot valve at the sink here to allow the air to come out. Fill the hot water heater like it's supposed to. The reason it's making noise like this is the air pushing through that valve is making it uh, make some noise. Once that air gets out of there and the hot water heater is completely full, it should stop doing that once water is able to push it open a little bit better. There we go. Now that the air is out of the hot water heater, I can turn it on and make sure everything's working fine, but I'm going to turn the water off here in a moment. I'm just going to let it flow to make sure you get all the air out. Still getting just a little bit. There you go. It's sounding better now. Not really hearing the air. We'll turn the water off and observe for leaks. Looks good. I hope this video helps somebody. Please like and subscribe.